Hi, I'm James Kahn, Chairman of Startup Loans. Firstly, let me say this is one of the most exciting projects I've ever worked on. The opportunity of helping young people start businesses is an absolutely incredible journey that you could go on. One of the biggest challenges that young people face when they want to start a business is access to capital. Well, let me tell you, we've got £84 million that we can invest over the next three years helping people just like you. But if you've got a business idea, a concept that you think could turn into a business, then we can make that happen for you and we can make it happen today. With startup loans, not only are we giving you capital, but we're also giving you the opportunity of matching you with a mentor. Somebody who's going to be instrumental in helping you along that journey. So if you're out there today thinking of starting your own business, apply now to startup loans and let us give you the opportunity of changing your life. Better. Welcome to Faces again. It's Sunday, 8 o'clock. Welcome to Faces. Uh, you know me, Vasilis Panagis, and I have two guests tonight. And uh, one of my guests is Mr. Hileas Costantino, very well-known uh, man in the community, very well-known businessman. Kalispera, Hilea, good evening. Kalispera, Vasily, thank you for inviting us. How are you? Very well, very well. Yeah, you, you've been away on holidays, eh? Yeah, you, of course. You have a nice colour. Of course, I have to support my country, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Become a guest leader. Love and guest giver. Bravo. It was wonderful, wonderful. That's nice. And, and I'm uh, pleased to say that the people are bearing up uh -huh. under these very difficult circumstances yes. that uh, uh -huh. uh, these communities are going through. So, um, yeah, but it's good to be in London too. Welcome. And Mr. Nicholas Nicolaou, a Cypriot, and uh, to, tonight we have a special subject, and I'm, I'm going to leave Achilles. Welcome, uh, Nicholas. Thank you. Thank you. You are a Cypriot, yes. Here. You're born here. Well, yes. Uh, yeah. My mother's Greek, my father's Cypriot, and I was born in London. Okay. So. Achilles, special subject, okay? Would you like well, to yes. give us a... Yes, it's, it's one of the reasons that um, I've very willingly become involved in this, is because I believe in it. And imagine this, if you're a young or middle-aged or any aged person and you've got an idea and you've got something in mind but you haven't got the finances to kick it off and I'm sure there's hundreds and thousands of people in that position who say, if only I could have some finance to start my own business or to exploit this idea. And there's a lot of people out of work who can't get a job who think, if only I had the backing to start mm -hmm. my own venture, <clears throat> I could not only make a living for myself, but possibly employ other people. Mm -hmm. Well, amazingly, the government, the British government, has started what is called the Startup Loans Initiative. Okay? And this is headed by a very good friend of mine called James Kahn, who was one of the uh, dragons then. Remember that television program yes, on TV yes. where you get all the guys with all the young guys giving their inventions? Well, James was one of those. My only years. problem, I can't remember the names. The only name I remember is Mr. Pafidis. Theo Pafidis, of course. <laughs> he was on there. He was on there. <laughs> yes, and um, there were a few others. Theo's re um, retired from the program as well. I know. Yeah. James has. But they're busy doing other things. And James is involved in this initiative. And um, as a friend, he's asked me to sort of help him promote this and bring it to the attention of the Greek and the Greek Cypriot community uh -huh. um, here in London and, and throughout all the listeners of um, Hellenic television. In that regard, um, I have spoken and I've got in touch with Nicholas Nicolaou, who is one of the firms that are in fact deciding and recommending to the government which young entrepreneur should get this loan. Mm -hmm. So let me go straight into some questions because the quickest way for us to find Before out Before you it, go to the questions, yes? uh, Hilemu, let me just ask a couple of questions. Of course. And my first question is to Mr. Nicholas. Yes. Because I have you on my program with Achilles yes. on LGR. Yes. Did anything happen? I mean, people get in touch with you and do you have any results? 
Since well, um, it's difficult to measure at this early stage from uh, the June uh, mm -hmm. uh, radio program, um, but uh, there has been an increase in the work that we're Which doing. Which means it's from LGR. Well, you know, it could yeah. well be. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is, and I, okay. I hope so. I hope so. I very much hope so. <laughs> what, right. what, what Vasil is referring to is that we did a program on LGR with mm -hmm. with Nicholas, and um, we did get quite a few phone calls and interest, yeah. and. It takes a lot of courage, you know, to phone yeah, up yeah, yeah. Mm. and say, you know, people think I'm not begging. I'm not, you know, this isn't charity. Yeah. This is an interest free loan from yeah. the government. Not interest free. Sorry. sorry. Sorry, sorry. An unsecured loan. Unsecured, That's correct. Sorry. Yes. Not interest free. You pay some interest eventually. Actually, but it's unsecured. You know something? I got quite a few calls. I just told Nicholas yes. earlier on. I got mm. quite a few calls. People were asking me and I give information to them. Yes. So they must get in touch with you. They must sure have, yes. That. I mean, yes. I think there's... Yes, yeah. and so did I. But this is a new program. So, Nicholas, tell us, please, what is Startup Loans? Okay, the Startup Loan Scheme is an initiative by the government um, to help small businesses to get started. So, if uh, you're eligible, you apply for the loan. Um, just like any business, uh, you have to repay the loan back, like any normal business loan. Um, and the terms of the loan are very good. There's a lot of support that comes with it. So mm. you're, you're assisted to prepare your business plan. You're assisted in the process of getting the loan approved. Once it's approved, you're also supported afterwards with the early stages, the early six months critical period of getting the business off the ground. So it's a really good initiative that helps people to get started in business when they might not have been able to access that loan from other sources. And as we talked to earlier about the unsecured element, many businesses struggle uh, to get started because they either need to have assets to begin with, or they need the capital, yes. their own capital to begin with. Um, and this loan product actually, actually solves that problem. Um, you still need to have a viable business idea. You still have to have an idea. Um, mm -hmm. And you still have to have all the other things that make the idea work and the business work and become viable. But if finance was the problem, then that problem should be solved by a, pro by a product like this. And, and who decides if the idea is viable? Okay, well, when you apply, uh, we, we initially assess your application. It could be that you're still in the formulation stage of the business idea, but if you've reached that point where the business is ready to go, we would identify that. We would identify whether whatever you're borrowing is the right amount. We might even help you with finding the right so amount. So it's your company? Yes, our your company, company helps us do that. Like vets the applications. That's right. But we also support the business to prepare their application. So, so it's not just about assessing. So, so if one of our listeners has yes. got an idea yes. and thinks oh, I can create a product that's going to sell by the thousands, yes. they simply write down what their idea is and what it's going to cost to create the uh, prototype or. That's right. Uh, make an estimate of how many they can sell, make an estimate of how much it's going to cost to produce. That's right. And then come and see you with that idea. Well, I mean, they, we would help them with that process as well. So they don't have to have all the answers. Um, if they apply, they can apply online, which... They can um, apply online? That's right. So if they just um, get in touch with us, there's an initial stage where we just simply ask a few basic questions to help them kind of get through that um, initial bit of mm -hmm. what, what do I need to, how, you know, do I qualify? Yes. And if you're eligible, then what we do is we help you to develop your idea and present it to, to those who are going to approve the idea, hopefully. Um, so there's uh, a lot of support, there's guidelines, there's templates, uh, there's examples of uh, how to write a business plan, you have a mentor who helps you with that process as well. So you're not just tr you're not expected to write the plan all on your own. It's brilliant. But you brilliant. are expected to work with people who are going to help you. And, and I think this is why this is why this scheme is so different from absolutely. simply saying to banks, go and lend. And you know, banks have not been lending because they want security and they want uh, uh, you, uh, they might the want shirt off your banks. Yes. You do more than this. You're actually looking at the idea and saying to these young or middle-aged kids, there used to be an age limit. I think the age limit's gone now. Well, it's 18 to 30 at the moment, and I think that the over-30s will be hopefully coming soon. 
It's it's just one of those things. So still a chance for us, Vasily. Yes, yeah, there still is still a chance for, a chance for, for everyone. I, I, yeah. for I, I like to ask another question. I mean, you yeah. say you help you know these yes. people. I mean, and, and you spend the time. That's right. Yes. Okay. Uh, it, you charging them or you just helping because you're going to get well actually no we don't charge the business how are you going to benefit well the way we work is that because we we're running the con we're running a contract with a startup loan company okay. which is the company chaired by James Khan yes um, that company pays us a fee ah. for doing some of that work okay so the client at the end of the day can receive this a, a certain level this of service support. free Yes, a certain level of that service is okay. free. So we can actually help the business to get most of the way they need to go. They need to have an idea. Yeah. They need to be willing to do their own work as well. Okay. But if they do those two things, mm -hmm. then we can provide them the free support okay. that will help them to get their idea off the ground. Okay, earlier on, Ahilia says, you know, I mean, they bring you all the information and apply and all this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And you say you um, uh, pass this information to the ones who are going to decide, who are they? Well, it's, it's internally done. Uh -huh. So we have a mentor who works with the client, uh -huh. and then within our own organization, mm -hmm. then once that proposition is ready, the mentor tells the client, you are ready. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to go to the panel. Then the client has an opportunity to present their idea and their business plan and the amount that they're looking to borrow to that panel, which is usually one or two people who are experienced at assessing proposals. Um, and those people will work with the person to hopefully approve that loan. Okay, million dollar question. Yes. I'm a young man. Yes. I still am a young man, really. <laughs> I'm, a young yes, man. Are, yes. I'm a young Aren't man. I'm a young man. And here I am with this idea, and I've yes. come, and it's brilliant an idea. I need, I need loads of money to do this idea. How okay. much can I get? Okay, um, well, the maximum you could, I mean, there is no real cap. Mm. But the maximum, uh, from all intents and purposes, is probably about 25,000. I can get 25,000? A Up young to. man can get 25,000? Up, Up to, to. 25,000. Ahile, can I ask you however, a question? However, I think we should really be careful about the amount. Most businesses don't need that much money to get started. In fact, the average yeah. is closer to 4,500. Um, and, you know, most businesses can get started for less than 10,000. Some even get started for only a thousand pounds. Is it also true, uh, Nicholas, that if I have a partner, if yes. there's two of us, yes. or if there's two of you, and yes. you want to get loans for your business, yes. two entrepreneurs, you can get up to 25,000 each? <laughs> Potentially. Yes, Although but normally on average, <laughs> I've heard some have got 10,000 each. That's correct. I've heard some that have got 7,000, I've got mm. some that have got 4,500. Yes. What um, our listeners should know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but up to now, since this scheme was started, which was, what, about a year ago? That's about a year ago now, yes. Only about a year ago, they've got up to 3,000 loan recipients now. That's right. There's over 3,000 new businesses in the UK because of this scheme, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is very, very good. Uh, also, also, excuse me, it's yeah. running at the rate of 250 loans a week. Approximately. 250 new loans every week. And I understand uh, that James told me the target is 25,000 loans by 2015. That's right. That's 25,000 new companies mm -hmm. this scheme will create by 2015. Okay. And I think it's fantastic and I want some of our Greek kids and our Cypriot kids to start putting their thinking caps on. Mm -hmm. One thing we are, us Greeks and Cypriots, we're very, very industrious mm -hmm. people. Okay? Absolutely. And commercially minded. You know, let's start thinking, well, there's wonderful ideas, and let's start putting it on paper, coming up with the idea, and going to get some of this, and starting a business. Just one more question, Nicholas. Sure, I'm yes. sorry about that. No problem. You know, you say it's unsecure loan. That's right. For everyone. Yes. What's happening if the business go, goes you know, under? Uh, in their own way, you know, this kind of thing. What's okay. happening then? Well, what, we're, what we try to do is we try to prevent rather than cure. So the whole point is that if you pass through the process, we should be quite confident that your business will succeed. But it does happen. There are events that occur, both in the business world, sometimes even in the personal life of people, mm -hmm. where it makes it difficult for them to uh, continue the business. Okay. Um, the, the loan itself is actually a personal loan. And so it will remain with that person in their credit history. And so, but that person can still repay that loan from outside of the business. You know, how, can they, how can they pay if they are, if they are out of business? You well, know I mean? some, sometimes 
uh, the experience how do you of recover having, this uh, well, yourself? How do we recover it? Yeah. Well, um, we work with the applicant. It's mm -hmm. it's a it's a mature discussion. What we're trying to do, mm -hmm. in fact, what we try to do is when there's early warning signs of the business having difficulties, we ask them to get in touch with us straight away because sometimes we can provide additional mentoring after the loan. Mm -hmm. Now, this is something you don't get with a normal loan in inverted commas. Right. Uh, and this is where somebody will you know, try to work with you to figure out what amazing. is it that's not working. Um, it's maybe like give you having a partner. It's mm -hmm. like having a senior professional partner mm -hmm. that you're not paying for, isn't it? It's a mentor, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and, and for the, the, most, the biggest advantage for any yeah. young person, right, mm -hmm. Is, is having that guidance, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. ha having the guidance of somebody that's either an accountant or a lawyer who's got access to all these facilities in order to say, I'm way. thinking of doing this, is it the right, it's a, it's, it's a, cons mm -hmm. it's a consultant, it's a mentor. It's okay, amazing. so actually you keep looking after them and you help them and Absolutely. Uh, during all this uh, time, I mean, um, before the expiring day of the loan. Comes. Well, for the initial six months, there's an intensive support uh -huh. program in okay. place. So if as soon as somebody gets a loan, they have access. In fact, this is a great feature because mm -hmm. not only do they have access to a mentor, they also have access to corporate offers. Okay. And what I mean by corporate offers, these are offers that are exclusively for the startup loan scheme. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, Regis do an offer, Intuit do an accountancy package offer, eBay store do something, eBay, uh, PayPal. Um, so some very recognized names, but there's a whole host of other ones and they, there's new ones that come on all the time. These mm -hmm. are other corporations that understand and believe mm -hmm. in uh, small businesses starting up. And so they're helping these businesses that step further. Your so business how plan, does a young entrepreneur get their help? How as soon as, if your loan is approved, yes. then you are eligible mm -hmm. to receive uh, corporate offers. Right. Can I okay. ask another question before you go, Ahilea? Sure. Yeah. So, you know, Ahilea has mentioned there that you have already, you know, approved 300,000, Ahilea? 300, no, 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. This sorry. is across the whole program. Okay. It's not us personally. We've done our Everybody. share. Okay, 3,000. Yes. Among uh, how many applicants? Well, um, you see, it's tricky. We get some applicants who they they arrive, we talk to them, we identify what they need to do, and some of them take a little bit longer to get what they need together, okay. uh, or they need a little bit more time to develop their business plans. And then there are others who are oven ready, you know, they're straight away ready to get going. Um, you've got others that just need a little bit of work. I think what Vasily is asking for is what's the percentage of success? In yeah, it's very difficult to work that out because sometimes, um, I mean, I would say, uh, from those who have applied to us, three or four um, uh, of, for every two, three or four, it's very difficult to tell, you know, one will go through within a couple of months. Now, what will happen is there will, it might be, the percentage might get better as time goes by because there's a lot who still want to take a little bit of time to think their ideas so through. it's about 30%. 30 to 35 percent yes. are successful, successful mm -hmm. which is pretty good but what uh, mm -hmm. Nicholas is saying Vasily is that some may be Let me marked make, as not yes. successful because they've gone away to think so, about it okay it's all, it's actually, all to, be depending, fair, to be yeah. fair sorry let me be very yeah. clear yeah. those who actually come to the loan panel i.e. Yeah. their mentor has said yes. that you are ready yes of those who come to the panel i would say over 90 percent uh -huh. are actually approved for a loan. It's all so so the, yeah. the mentor, when they're telling you you're ready for panel, okay. you know, you really are ready. Okay, it's all depend on the idea? It depends on the, a lot of factors. Lot of it's, factors. you know, just like any loan mm -hmm. uh, appraisal, we look at a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We do look mm -hmm. at the credit rating, although that's not an overriding factor. Mm -hmm. So if you've, you know, had a bit of a dodgy history or um, mm -hmm. maybe you haven't got much of a track record, that's not necessarily a bar. Mm -hmm. um, it will be looked at, but yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not approved. I the know. main factor is whether the business idea will work. I know, mm -hmm. yeah. the idea is successful. If we so, think it will work. Um, okay. Before we, we move on, let's just sure. um, have a, a small recap here. Mm -hmm. It's a startup loans initiative by the uh, UK government. 
um, companies. Uh, your company is GLE. Yes. What does that stand for? GLE's Greater London Enterprise. Greater London Enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the companies, there are many companies like yours across the UK, That's right. whose job it is to um, collate these uh, 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 applications, vet them and put them before the deciding panel. As well as, and we are the panel, but we also work with the client with the mentoring as well. Right. So, young entrepreneurs, 18 to 30 at the moment and possibly older. Yes. You have an idea, all you have to do is go to glestartuploans.co.uk. This is um, Nicholas Nicolaou's website, his company's website, where you'll see all the application forms. Absolutely. Tell them what they'll find on your website. Well, the website has a lot of things on there. Um, you, you will see a lot of case studies, uh, something hopefully to inspire you. You'll see other businesses that have started, how much they've borrowed, you know, what was their story. Everybody has a different story and that's what's great about this. Um, there's some tools as well. So you have some templates, cash flow forecast templates, business plan guidelines. Um, you have even example business plans and example templates which help you to see, you know, what your idea could look like uh, or what a good idea looks like or so that you're able to maybe put in your idea in a similar format. Um, so it, there's a lot of inspiring stories. There's, you know, Twitter feeds, Facebook links. Uh, there's a lot of uh, information and links to the main government website as well. Um, and you can see some of their stories. Um, there's, there's a huge amount of information so on the website. So the information's website. on the website. I repeat it again. It's GLE Startup Loans .co.uk and you, you can also telephone 0845 6032820 that's the GLE uh, telephone number you can find the website and this phone number if you go on to Hellenic uh, TV's uh, website which is hellenictv.net and uh, I encourage you to make a note of that so that you can um, really benefit from this um, from this enterprise, mm -hmm. so um, the I, I mean I know that it's received an awful lot of publicity, and I think um, you're going to put some things up. I, I, I've noticed here there's pages and pages in the Absolutely. Daily Telegraph. The Prime Minister David well Cameron has invited um, James to Ten Downing Street. He's represented and spoken at seminars promoting this event, so the Prime Minister is 100% behind it. I notice here in the um, Examiner, the Evening Standard, the Evening News, lots and lots of publicity, which um, uh, we'll be showing you later on this program. Uh -huh. um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of um, you know, political backing as well. Uh, Lord Young is uh, the, uh, the Prime Minister's enterprise advisor, and he's, you know, it's his brainchild, if he's, you know, it's his idea. Uh, the whole startup scheme and working with James Kahn, uh, they, they have developed this into, you know, what it is today. And it's a fantastic scheme. Can I ask you another question, please, sure. about the money? I mean, the yes. coming from the government, yeah? That's right, yes. Okay. Well, and it doesn't come directly from them. We, we manage that money on their behalf, but yes. On their behalf? Yes. Okay, and uh, you have to pay back? That's correct, yes. That's it's correct. a loan. It's a business proposition. Yes. What is the benefit of uh, the lender? Whoever it is. Well, you know. as I said, we, we are separately contracted to uh -huh. do the service. Okay. So um, we are delivering the loans for government. Uh, our expertise is in delivering small business loans to mm -hmm. the small business community at large. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of other loan funds ourselves, um, which have nothing to do with this particular scheme. Really? But we've been doing this for, for many years, for over a decade now. I think it's almost 15 years now. So, so actually the idea started from your company? Well, not so much the idea started from our company. I think the idea of lending to small businesses from government has been going on for some time. Uh -huh. There have been lots of past loan funds, usually by local authorities or European funded programs mm -hmm. or regional funded programs. So that they have been around. Okay. Uh, the startup loan scheme is now, but if you like, a culmination scheme, of that knowledge. Uh, it started from you. 
Sorry? This particular st uh, scheme, I mean... Oh, no, this particular scheme was started by Lord Young, uh -huh. and he looked for providers, people uh -huh. who've been doing this work before. Okay. We are one of the organizations uh, that have done this work before. You, yeah. And so... You we've, took over, yeah. yeah so we've, we contracted okay. with them, as did a lot of other organizations, well, several other organizations. Okay. But it's, they're all, we all do it in, you know, in the way that we do it. We all know how to work with young people. Yes. We know how to work with older people as well. We know how to lend to businesses. We've been lending to businesses for some time, especially startups as well. Well, I think that's very important. And I'm particularly concerned, of course, um, mm -hmm. in this program to address our Greek and Greek Cypriot community. That's right. And um, make them understand that it's really quite simple. Okay. And I know because I know a lot of young kids who've got these fantastic ideas. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of, um, our, not only in our community, but all communities, uh, um, who graduate with fantastic degrees mm -hmm. uh, and can't get work. Exactly. Right? Apply your mind, think commercially, become an entrepreneur. It really is very easy. You know, when I started business with, uh, uh, I finished college and I was already in business. So I think I was 17. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely simple. Okay. If you've got a good idea, if you see something, you can make it happen. Now, the, the government's going to give you some money to do that. And, and some help. And some help. And they'll more, even help you write yeah. the business plan. Most of all in successful business, because you are successful, Achilles, is the idea, isn't it? Yes, it's the idea and it's hard work. Like uh, yeah, Nicholas said, you've got to make, you've got to be prepared to work to make to work the idea hard, yes. happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kiki Loizu, who's uh, yeah, uh, yeah. one of our wonderful um, uh, Greek journalists, who writes for the um, Sunday Times Business News, did a great article here uh, about startup loans. And I, I like this example mm -hmm. of one of the... Um, the uh, uh, recipients. recipients. She says, last year, Eamon Jobwe started on Fido, a tech firm that does background checks on businesses. Mm -hmm. He obtained £12,000 through the initiative, which he has not yet spent. <laughs> we are using it as security while we look for investors, he said. Everybody uses the money differently, and our loan is a backup. Mm -hmm. See, So it's not like... You have to take the money and you've got to spend it straight away. There's yeah, no yeah. pressure. Okay. Absolutely. I think, in fact, we, we've not talked about some of the most important features of the loan. Tell us. It's a 6% interest loan, which is fantastic. For an unsecured loan, I mean, it's unbelievable. And for, to a startup, it's even better. Um, there's no arrangement fees. You can repay the loan early. You know, it's, it's over three years, so you've got time to spread your payments. Um, you know, as a product itself, it's an excellent product. Um, in fact, you know, 6%, you know, is for an unsecured loan. I mean, even some businesses well, what, might what be would jealous. A, what would a bank charge you nowadays for an, unse for an unsecured loan? 17%? I, I wouldn't be able to comment on whether... I think it's would... about 17% for a young, a young person. If they do person. it. I think the main problem... Even if they probably won't even do it. I think yeah, the problem yeah. is mainly there. It's yeah. not that, you know, I'm not casting a judgment on the banks as such. Mm. It's just unsecured lending is riskier lending. And it doesn't make sense on a commercial scale to do it, which is why the government has stepped in here. And so, you know, this is why this initiative is going on. And I think, you know, 6% interest, the corporate offers, the free support that you get... Um, no arrangement fee, the fact that you can repay it off whenever you like, whenever you're ready. Um, you know, all of these things are fantastic. Early, and the most it. important thing of all yes. is the idea, isn't if it? The idea must be good. I'm sure the government is not interested in just giving money to kids to spend. No, right. no, absolutely. That's not. why it's vetted through um, uh, delivery partners such as your firm, yeah. and that's why it's vetted by the particular panels. Because the mm. idea, the whole idea is to create employment. That's right. And for you to be successful and employ other people, which will make them more successful mm -hmm. and employ other people and grow. Absolutely. Okay? Um, uh, my son Alexander started a computer software company, Vasily, as you oh. know. Oh, wow. He's only, uh, well, he's now 32. He started at 17 while he was at university. Mm -hmm. He's graduated from university with, from a computer science course. He's working with six of his mates from university. He now has 11 employees. That's mm -hmm. right. And he's turning over, uh, I think he's approaching a million pounds now. So he's very successful. Now, uh... But that's a young man mm -hmm. who started with an idea, mm -hmm. got his friends to work with him, mm -hmm. This, if you've got a similar idea, the government's going to give you some money. Absolutely. That's the Startup yeah. Loans Initiative. 
I think I'll give you the website again. It's glestartuploans.co.uk and 0845 6032820 is their phone number. I think that's it. Achillea, before we close the show, would you um, eat um, frozen yogurt yourself? Uh, yes, I yes. would. I think I would. <laughs> Why not? Is this an idea? It's an idea. <laughs> they're selling frozen yogurt <laughs> in Cyprus already. Do you think it's a good idea? Yes, I think it's a very okay. good idea. I will apply then. Yes. <laughs> I'm not qualified because I'm old, over 30, you see. At yes. the moment, at the moment. I think they are changing that. I think that, yes. well, we're hoping that they will be changing that. We're not sure. Um, but it's been talked about plenty. And, um, you know, I think the, the most important thing is to recognise that, you know, if you've got an idea and you've got the willingness and the hard work to put it together, we will work with you to develop that idea. Mm -hmm. We will help you uh, to get your business ready. Once you've applied for the loan, during the application process, we will help you that. Once you receive the loan, we'll help you after you get the loan in terms of supporting you with the advice and guidance, stop you falling into maybe some common mistakes, things that experienced businessmen know to avoid. Um, and also, even after that intensive after finance support, if anything goes wrong or is going to go wrong or you're worried that something's going to go wrong, you can always get in touch with us. We can always help you to see if we can get you out of that difficulty. Either way, um, you know, it's a really good scheme and it's going to be around for a good few years now. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you all another hint, viewers, of how you can get these ideas. You know the old saying, uh, necessity is the mother of invention? Okay. I read in the uh, newspapers while I was on holiday in Cyprus um, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks, uh, about 10 days ago. There was this businessman, he had, a, he had a, a restaurant. Okay. And in the restaurant, you know, when people want their, their meals, they don't want to wait forever. So when the cooker breaks down, okay, mm -hmm. he'd phone up somebody to come and fix the cooker. He couldn't get anybody for two or three days. Oh, my right? God. So he thought, this is ridiculous. While they're, I'm waiting, he had to hire another cooker, whatever. He says, this is crazy. There wasn't a company to serve his cookers or fridges or microwaves, or all these things. So he got fed up with it. So he started a company himself to service restaurants such as his uh -huh. with a 24 hour service for servicing all kitchen all appliances. Oh. Okay? He's just going public. Mm. After, th I think, nearly less than three years, That's the company is so successful, it's going on the stock exchange. Yeah. I think an idea. I think yeah, that idea, I think yeah. that example simplify, simply is, you know, it's it's what business is about. It's identifying that some that there's a problem out there, and mm -hmm. that if you could find a solution to that problem and mm -hmm. sell that solution to somebody else, yes. then that's it. That's an idea. And after that, it's a case of figuring it out how are you going to do this. Yes. You know, how much is it going to cost you? How to get that money together? How to spend that money correctly? You know, that's the other side of it. But, you know, identifying the idea is, is simply, you know, seeing what problem is there that needs solving and how can I solve it? Okay. 100%. And don't, let's not forget our young ladies. Uh, being in the fashion business, I've got to remind our audience that some of the best ideas come from the female species. This is for okay. everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Female, yeah. you young ladies have got the most ingenious, I know my wife does all the time, she says, why hasn't anyone invented this? Why hasn't anyone discovered this kind of bra or this kind of method of cleaning this particular product? Girls have got fantastic ideas. Please consider it as well. Boys and girls, men and women. I think if you look on the website, you will see lots of case studies Good. Uh, from a broad range of people, mm -hmm. all sorts of backgrounds. It could be something that you're good at yourself, something you discovered accidentally. Um, you know, sometimes people study one thing, uh, then they're starting to, doing, to do something else completely. I had mm -hmm. somebody recently who studied history, I believe it was, and was just cooking uh, some cakes. Her family liked them. She started cooking more of them. She became awesome at cooking cakes and Brilliant. now she's selling business she's got a business selling cakes and she never would have thought that's what she was going to do Good. I mean it, and there's there's many examples of this mm. and I think you know other people just you know you identify things that you didn't really think about before and I think that's that's the key yeah. you know just be willing to to work the idea through and you know uh, it's great that you have a program like this where there's somebody there to just kick the tires independent you know, sometimes it's hard talking to friends and family about a business idea. 
Uh, sometimes it's hard to even talk to other business people about a business idea. So come to talk to you. Yeah, so talk to us, That's you know, it. and we'll help you to develop that. Well, we might not be able to help you develop the idea, but we'll be able to help you convert the idea. And that's the plan. Okay. okay. I am looking forward to um, the decision when you decide to give money to over 30. Okay. And I have an idea. And me and Achilles, we can um, you know, start a new You are business. very welcome. <laughs> okay, lovely. <laughs> Mr. Achilles Constantino, it's been a pleasure to have you in Faces. Pleasure is all mine, Vasily. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Uh, Nicolas Nicolaou, all the best. Thank and, you very um, much. I wish uh, everybody, you know, uh, success. All the customers, all Excellent. your uh, new customers, and uh, well, I, you know. I hope so. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, it's a time to say good night. Thank you for being with us tonight. Face is going to be with you next uh, Sunday again, the same time with me, and another face or faces. Until then, see you soon. Keep yourselves happy, smiling, and uh, looking forward to hear your ideas. Good night. Hi, I'm James Kahn, Chairman of Startup Loans. Firstly, let me say this is one of the most exciting projects I've ever worked on. The opportunity of helping young people start businesses is an absolutely incredible journey that you could go on. One of the biggest challenges that young people face when they want to start a business is access to capital. Well, let me tell you, we've got £84 million that we can invest over the next three years helping people just like you, that if you've got a business idea, a concept that you think could turn into a business, then we can make that happen for you and we can make it happen today. With Startup Loans, not only are we giving you capital, but we're also giving you the opportunity of matching you with a mentor. Somebody who's going to be instrumental in helping you along that journey. So if you're out there today thinking of starting your own business, apply now to Startup Loans and let us give you the opportunity of changing your life.